every generation will not be confused there is a generation that will get this thing from that day the creative dimension of the prophetic there must be a performance because neglected Jesus we need to let the world know that passion for Jesus pays in this life and in the life after Matthew 22 and verse 37 here's what it says Jesus said unto them thou shall love the Lord thy God with all your heart your soul and with all your mind you have to love Jesus with all your heart all your soul and all your mind your mind must participate in that love relationship your soul must participate in that love relationship your heart must participate in that love relationship it is one thing to work for god it is one thing to serve in the house of god but it's another thing entirely to love jesus there are many people who are not passionately in love with jesus and he's reminding us again of the value not just of church you can love church you can love preaching you can love sermons you can love christian activities you can even love heaven you can love the throne room but none of these is jesus it is not the throne we worship it is him that sits on the throne hallelujah and so this is a call to number one pay attention to our relationship with jesus i did a teaching i think a few months ago called uh, maybe a few months or about a year or so ago three most important things very powerful teaching please search for that teaching and listen to it from the depth of your heart with all your heart and I thought that three things are most important in any man's life. Number one, the first of them in order of priority is your relationship with Jesus. Lose everything in your life, but if you have Jesus, you have everything. People have lost money. People have sadly lost loved ones. In, in the wake of the pandemic, people have lost businesses. They have lost means of livelihood, sadly. But then if you have Jesus, he is that one friend that sticks closer than a brother. He is the anchor. Hallelujah. But you have everything. We live in an arrogant world today where some trust in horses and others in chariots, some education, some business, some trust in money, political connections, etc. The Bible tells us, that the name of the lord listen carefully only the name of the lord is qualified to be called a strong tower no military might no military arsenal is sufficient to stand the evil of the times our military as wonderful as they are globally speaking can only resist physical enemies they do not have the power nor the intelligence to confront principalities powers and the spiritual wickedness that reside in heavenly places it takes our relationship with the lord jesus christ to be both saved and safe hallelujah it's been my passion to the body of christ for many years that we must be able to redefine our passion we cannot generalize jesus we cannot throw him in the mix of church and religion and conferences and programs as wonderful as they are let this day be a call again to the body of christ we need to return to jesus in our sermons jesus in our homes jesus in our hearts more than well-meaning church activities more than charity and philanthropy more than all of the things that we do if you do not have jesus it is true according to the authority of scripture that you do not have life they say it in a very interesting way that no jesus no life hallelujah praise the name of the lord mark chapter 12 and verse 
32, Jesus was having a conversation with a scribe, one of the scribes, and the scribe made an interesting statement that Jesus had to comment on. Mark chapter 12 from verse 32. And the scribe said unto him, Well, master, thou hast said the truth, for there is one God, and there is none other but he. 33. And to love him with all the heart, listen carefully, and with all the understanding, and with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love his neighbor as himself is more than the whole bond offerings and sacrifices. Here is a scribe saying to love Jesus with your heart and with your understanding is more than everything, everything together. Praise the name of the Lord. Are we together? Please pay attention. The Lord is granting us grace to love Jesus with all your heart, with every sense of passion is greater than achievements is greater than real estates greater than all sorts of businesses if all i have is jesus i've got something more than gold i will tell it to my world jesus is more than gold something more than gold i have something more than gold something more than gold i've got something more than gold if all i have is jesus i've got something more than gold i will tell it to the world jesus is more than gold once again we present jesus to the world we may not claim to know everything about business we may not claim to know everything about leadership. We may not claim to know everything about our sociology and civilization. But this one thing we know is that Jesus has been enthroned today and been made Lord. And, and for as long as we live, we will present him to our world as the only way, not one of the ways. This is based on the authority of scripture. The Bible presents Jesus to the world as the way, the truth, and the life. It says, no man comes to the Father except by him. There are ways. There are formulas. But the Bible tells us that when it has to do with the matter of eternity and destiny, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. For those who are lost, we present you Jesus the Savior, King. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.